Coverage of the ongoing war in Israel as you take a live look inside the United Nations. The UN set to vote today on a resolution calling for a ceasefire in the Israel Hamas war. It's reportedly expected to pass, but UN resolutions are non binding and largely symbolic. And Tal Heinrich is a spokesperson for Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. She's joining us live here. Tal, always good to see you and thank you for taking the time for the viewers today. I'd love to know and to get, if we can, your reaction to, to the UN General Assembly here. Uh, it's happening while we're speaking, taking a vote as as you hear speeches, but then taking a vote to call for a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas. What is the Prime Minister's position on this resolution within the United Nations? You see, Sean, what's happening right now in Israel is that too many Israeli families are sitting around Shabbat dinner tables without their loved ones. This is, this is what's happening in Israel. A ceasefire is not negotiable. Because Hamas terrorists cannot get away with what they di they did, and calling for a ceasefire is basically calling for impunity for terrorists, and we cannot let that happen. The correct message that the United Nations of the civilized world should send out is that terrorism is simply a dead end. That that is why a ceasefire is is just not an option. Our clear and just military objective is to dismantle Hamas. We have decided that we will no longer live next to this monster. You see, Sean, when, when American parents um, put their children to bed, they tuck them in, they can promise them at night that there's no monster in the room, right? But Israeli parents cannot do it right now because we might have a monster in the room that will take the children to Gaza, that will kill the children in front of the parents and the parents in front of the children. So, no, a ceasefire is not an option. Obviously, Hamas would want a ceasefire because we're coming after them, and we will get to them one by one. Tal, wanted to ask you about some Wall Street Journal reporting, uh, finding that the prime minister is facing some domestic pressure to launch that official ground invasion. At the same time, he's hearing calls from U.S. and other Western leaders uh, to sort of pause and to consider the potential casualties involved. Who is the prime minister listening to at this point? So there will definitely be a stage two of Israel's war against Hamas. We didn't want this war. We didn't start this war. And we weren't even expecting this war. We had to launch a counteroffensive to dismantle Hamas. So it will come. But the military uh, and, and, and political leaders are looking at all different variables together uh, when they try to decide about the right timing and the right condition to launch stage two. Uh, but and, and obviously, we're also consulting with international counterparts because, as you know, some foreign nationals or dual citizenship holders are also being held in captivity in Gaza right now. So it's a very, very complex situation. But once we will decide to further act in Gaza, we will do so judiciously and we will do so decisively and we will hit Hamas very hard. All right. We'll have to leave it right there. We appreciate you joining us today. Tal Heinrich, thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome.